The topic is land use changes affecting ecosystems and biodiversity. Land use is defined as the total of arrangements, activities and inputs that people undertake in a certain land cover type. Land cover involves the physical and biological features found on the surface of the land existing as vegetation or the built environment human created structure. Types of land use Residential land use Residential land use has a large share of all urban land use. The exact proportion of residential use varies depending if one includes the entire area of urban land including developed and vacant land or built up area. Residential land use include individual household units, dormitory, hotel, park and vacant plots. Residential area generate the greatest amount of garbage in the urban areas. As land is cleared for housing and other economic activities including urbanization and intra infrastructural development. Erosion set in as soon as the tree cover is removed. Heavy tropical rainfall leaches the nutrients from the soil especially on slopey areas. It could also lead to landslide and this in turn precipitate more flooding. The removal of tropical forest that regulates the world climate by absorbing carbon dioxide and returning water to the atmosphere through transpiration are all disturbed leading to global warming. Commercial land use It is surprising that commercial land use contribute a very small proportion of land use in the urban area about 5% of the total space of the grouping. The commercial area also contribute a lot to the pollution from the automobiles, factories, petrochemical plants, which can lead to the acidification of lake. Other related diseases include ulcer, hypertension and lung cancer. Industrial land use. Industrial land use are extremely varied depending on the nature of industry being considered. Urban industrial land use generally refer to setting of factories or petroleum refineries and electric generating station, water and sewage plant treatment facilities. Industrial land use in rural area can include mines, smelters and mills for the production of ores and metal, mines and well field for production of fossil fuels such as coal, oil and natural gas and larger water holding reservoir for the production of hydroelectricity. Agriculture land use. Land use for agriculture and forestry also uh, is a type of industrial land uses. In this case involved with the production of food or fiber as renewable sources. The nature of agriculture land use depend on the type of crop and agronomic system which can vary from intensively managed monoculture to more organic system involving animal or perennial crop and little use of fertilizers or pesticide. Similarly, the intensity of the land use in the forestry varies from systems involving clear cutting and establishment of short rotation plantation to selection harvesting system with long spaced intervention. Recreational land use Recreational land in most cities is devoted to variety of function. It can be divided between land for active recreation that is relaxation, sightseeing etc. This, this distinction is between participant recreation and spectator recreation. This distinction point out the difficulty of defining what is meant by recreation for some. It may mean a type of competition for others, may mean a form of amusement and still for other it could mean relaxation. However, the use of land for such purpose deal with outdoor recreation on site with some type of facilities that provide for both active recreation such as outdoor swimming pools and tennis court. The share of urban area used for cities of 1 lakh or more people. The average is 5%. Standard have been established by different cities and organization regarding the share of urban areas that should be devoted to recreation and out open space. Transport space. Airport, streets, railroads and parking space are very large land user in the urban area. More than 20% of land area of a typical urban area is used for transportation facilities. Public land use or open space. 
Public land use of urban land are usually dominated by park, golf courses, polo field, and football field, etc. In term of space use, access to them is sometimes restricted, even though it is classified as open space. The environmental implication of all these is that large expanse of land must be prepared to accommodate such facility. A reduction of vegetation induces quicker water surface runoff. accelerated erosion greater flood potential and increased sedimentation as vegetation is stripped away at construction site it is common to notice excessive erosion and higher water level in streams with muddy sediments land use categories arable land and agricultural land this figure defines land use definition for agricultural and non agricultural land cover how the whole land is used total area sizes by type of use and cover how the whole land is used it is used in different form there is livestock glaciers barren land build up areas these are glaciers forest shrubs cropland and fresh water this diagram is showing the biodiversity land use change and climate change These diagram shows how the biodiversity and land use has an impact on ecosystem services and productivity. The impact local climatic changes mediated by land use changes. Land use change direct influences survival and individual metabolism and development and reproduction. Land use changes indirect influence change in vegetation structure microhabitat availability or thermal refugia changes in the composition or activity time for other species that is competitors mutualist and predators change in disease prevalence or spread change in resource availability or time spent for aging This diagram show the framework of ecological responses triggered by climate change and land use. Here we can see loss of forest equates to a loss of many species. Reptiles are threatened by climate change, deforestation and habitat loss. The BBC report was published in a journal Science that found that climate change would wipe out 20% of world desert species by 2080 why lizards are so sensitive to climate change the bbc summarizes lizards the researcher says are the far more susceptible to climate warming extinction than previously thought many species live right at the edge of their thermal limits rising temperature they explained live lizard unable to spend sufficient time foraging for food as they have to rest and regulate their body temperature effect of forest lost on bird population whenever people alter ecosystem in this case by converting forest to cropland some species suffer greatly and others seem able to adjust to the new habitat why that happens is a big mystery in conservation science the researcher found that species living in the seasonal western himalayas adapted to deforestation better than birds native to the tropical eastern himalayas to my surprise even population of same species responded to forest loss quite differently at the two end of the himalayan mountain range said umesh shrinivasan whose long term study of eastern himalayan birds provided data for the study the western population were better able to persist in the deforested area than the eastern counterparts solutions climate smart land management practices according to a report by ipcc on land use increased food productivity improved crop land management livestock management agroforestry 
increased soil organic carbon content and reduced post harvest losses would help in ecosystem conservation and land restoration these management practices could deliver up to 1.4 trillion dollar in increased crop production forest management improved fire management and improving grazing land can help in land restoration restore and rehabilitate to achieve land degradation neutrality sustainable development goal target additional commitment in the land use sector namely to restore and rehabilitate 12 million hectare of degraded land per year could help close the emission gap by up to 25% in the year 2030 the restoration of these areas as a part of building back better to avoid future zoonoses would bring other crucial benefits particularly mitigating climate change united nation convention to combat desertification established in 1994 the united nation convention to combat desertification is the sole legally binding international agreement linking environment and development to sustainable land management it is the only convention stemming from the direct recommendation of the royal conference agenda 21 focus areas the convention addresses specifically the arid semi arid and dry sub humid areas known as the dry land where some of the most vulnerable ecosystem and people can be found from india the ministry of environment forest climate change is the nodal minister for this convention world day to combat desertification and drought 2020 june 17 is observed worldwide as world day to combat desertification and drought theme food fed fiber which seeks to educate individual on na how to reduce the impact of food consumption according to united nation 2020 desertification and drought day focuses on the link between consumption and land this year's global observance event is being hosted virtually by the korea forest service zoonoses it is any disease or infection that is naturally transmissible from vertebrates animals to humans animals thus play an essential role in maintaining zoonotic infection in nature zoonoses may be bacterial viral or parasitic conclusion land use changes has a significant impact on the world ecosystem changes in the extent and composition of forest grassland wetlands and other ecosystem have large impact on the provision of ecosystem services and biodiversity conservation though humans have been modifying land to obtain food and other essentials for thousands of years current rate extent and intensity of the land use is far greater than ever in history deriving unpredictable changes in ecosystem and environmental processes at local regional and global scale these changes encompasses the greatest environmental concern of human population today including climate change biodiversity loss and the pollution of water and soil and air monitoring and mitigating the negative consequences of the land use while sustaining the production of essential resources should be the major priority of researcher and policy maker around the world thank you